Welcome to Smoky Goodness. Today we're going to keep it really, really simple. In fact, it's going to be so simple I'm only using one camera today. One camera? That's uh, unheard of. Unheard of, but those are the facts. Hey, when you think of a sesame steak, usually you think of that thin sliced uh, beef that goes into Asian, dish, Asian dishes, stir fry, whatnot. Well, I had another one of my harebrained ideas. Why slice the steak? Why not just make sesame steaks? <laughs> We've got ribeyes here. I'll show you. We're going to take the tour here, so stick around, Herb. Introducing the stars of our show, ribeyes. We've got a couple of thick ribeyes and a couple of thin ribeyes for the little guy. And, oh, and by the way, we're cooking in bulk, as usual. Leftovers, hey, great stuff. Also have some ground black pepper, got some sea salt. And way over here, sesame oil. And because I'm crazy, I've got some sesame seeds that I may or may not use. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle those on after the cook, if I'm so inclined. Let's get started. Uh, hey, I'm really sorry again about the angle of the sun. Uh, less than a week from the start of spring, the sun is making its journey back to the north. Actually, the earth is tilting in a manner that will give us spring in less than a week. What am I talking about? The sun doesn't change. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. All right, sesame oil. Yum. And just give it a rub. Coat it really well. And I'm going to hit it. See if I can get out of the sun a little bit here. I'm gonna hit it with some black pepper. Gotta have that. Hit it with some sea salt. Screaming hot grill here. Got to be at least 500 degrees. Hey, look at that! I'm not going to have to do the 90 degree turn. What do you know? Okay, we'll start these uh, thick ones first. Obviously, the uh, thinner ones are going to take less time to cook, so we're going to start these, serum, move them off, and then put the thin ones on. Stick around, Herb. That is one smoke and hot fire. Those grill marks. Wow. Cool. Bad rabbits aren't going to take much to cook at all, not much time. They're going to be done before I even put the other one on the grill, I think, here. Not much time at all, it's fast. Those are some tiny, tiny, thin little snakes, aren't they? Jeez. Very tiny. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter G, as in grilling. It's the Weber Gourmet Series Sear Grate. Really excellent. Uh, so far, I really like this. So. These are just about done. We're going to kind of let them warm up a little bit. We'll be eating real soon. And through the miracle of outstanding video editing, you guys are done. Woohoo! That's
Right, I told you it was simple and easy. I'm gonna go in and eat. They're resting right now, these awesome ribeyes. I'm still on the fence about whether to sprinkle these on or not. We'll see, I'll let you know how it goes. But how does it taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? Find out right now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Great stuff. Where's my hand? There it is. Great stuff. Stick around, Herb. Can you tell me how to cook, how to cook some sesame steaks? <laughs>